However long we are keepers of the public trust, we should never forget that we are here as public servants, and public service is a privilege. It's not about advantaging yourself. It's not about advancing your friends or your corporate clients. It's not about advancing an ideological agenda or the special interests of any organization. Public service is simply and absolutely about advancing the interests of Americans. But the American people deserve more than simply an assurance that those who are coming to Washington will serve their interests. They also deserve to know that there are rules on the books to keep it that way. They deserve a government that is truly of, by, and for the people. As I often said during the campaign, we need to make the White House the people's house. And we need to close the revolving door that lets lobbyists come into government freely and lets them use their time in public service as a way to promote their own interests over the interests of the American people when they leave. So today, we are taking a major step towards fulfilling this campaign promise. The executive order on ethics I will sign shortly represents a clean break from business as usual. As of today, lobbyists will be subject to stricter limits than under any, uh, under any other administration in history. If you are a lobbyist entering my administration, you will not be able to work on matters you lobbied on or in the agencies you lobbied during the previous two years. When you leave government, you will not be able to lobby my administration for as long as I am president. But the president recently nominated William Lynn, a lobbyist for defense contractor Raytheon, to be deputy defense secretary. With some fellow Democrats suggesting the nomination may be in trouble, Gibbs said the White House wants to make an exception. The president believes that, uh, as these experts do, that a very limited number of waivers, waivers but he's not that don't. The revolving door, though. A very limited number of waivers, waivers. A very limited number of waivers, waivers. waivers that don't If you are a lobbyist entering my administration, you will not be able to work on matters you lobbied on or in the agencies you lobbied during the previous two years. The president recently nominated William Lynn, a lobbyist for defense contractor Raytheon, to be deputy defense secretary.